Your home insurance bill comes up every year and it's easy to leave it and let it roll over with an auto renew so the company can sit there with an evil <laughs> knowing it can take you for granted and charge you far more than if you were to search the market as a new customer. So if your home insurance has just come through the door and the renewal is there, what do you need to do? First of all, let's establish exactly what cover you should be getting. Well, there's buildings insurance and contents insurance. Buildings is generally only needed by those who own the freehold to a property. The easiest way to think about it, well, here is a glass full of polos. But the general rule of thumb is if you were able to turn your house upside down, everything that falls is contents, everything that stays is buildings. Now, two quick tips about how much you should cover. When it comes to buildings insurance, many people overcover because they look at how much their property is worth. It's worth £300,000 and they insure the market value. But that includes your location. All you actually need to insure for buildings is the rebuild value. Literally how much it would cost to rebuild the property if it were knocked down. That can be a lot lower, which means your costs are lower. When it comes to contents, the sin many people make there is to underinsure. I'll give you an example. You've got 20, 25,000 pounds worth of contents in your house. Sounds a lot, it isn't when you add everything up. You've got a television that costs 1,000 pounds that has a problem with it that you're claiming on the house insurance. You've only insured 10,000 pounds. Well, you're thinking, I'm never gonna claim over 10 grand. That's not a problem, I'll keep it low. You go, you make the claim. They send round someone to examine it. He says, hold on, you've insured less than half of your contents value. I'm gonna pay you out less than half of the television's value. They pay you pro rata compared to the actual amount you've insured. So underinsuring can mean you get paid less on a claim. First of all, go to a comparison site, but not just one comparison site, combine them. Different sites search different insurers. So to give you the wider spread in the shortest amount of time, you want to use two or three. What I would do is I'd open all the windows at once and then cut and paste your answers across from them to see who's gonna come out cheapest. But always check for assumptions at the end. Once you've done that, what you need to do is check the big insurers that comparison sites don't include, specifically Aviva and Direct Line. Once you've done that, Double check the policy is truly suitable for you. Don't just go on price, make sure the quality adds up. A final note on this, comparison sites are great for people with normal circumstances. But if you have counter normal circumstances, you have a flood issue or something different about you or your house, you're probably better than going to a broker for a one-on-one -on -one bespoke consultation. If you're happy with your existing insurer, once you know the cheapest price from elsewhere, why not take it to them and see if they'll price match it? They can and will do. You'll tend to find many insurance companies when you call them up, their staff are allowed to drop by a certain amount if you ask them. So ask them. Then there's also the option of going to get your insurance via a cashback site. Now many people do this the wrong way round. I'm talking the likes of Top Cashback or Quidco. They go there first to see who'll give the biggest cashback. That doesn't work. Find who your cheapest insurer is, or perhaps your cheapest three insurers, and then see how much cashback you can get. See the cashback as an additional bonus if you get it, not as the core. But when you bring this all together and it works well, the cheapest result I've ever had on home insurance from someone following my full system, which you can get at moneysavingexpert.com forward slash home insurance, is to be paid to get their home insurance. It was roughly that their insurance was 60 pounds and they got a hundred pound cashback. In other words, they were up 40 quid for getting home insurance. Not everyone's gonna be able to do that, but if you really nail this down, home insurance can actually make you a profit on occasion.